Hello, it's Alan. In this video, I'm going to show how to draw the window openings in Inkscape for the main frame of the building of Newtown School. This is where we left off in the last video, where we constructed the main frame of the right hand side of the school. I've taken some measurements of the width of the windows in bricks and the height of these windows in bricks and the same in the width here and the total height for there. I then converted those drawing sizes into boxes. As you can see here, left and right windows, center without the top and the arch for the top of the center window. Before we move on, I was asked in the last uh, couple of videos how to make the arches such as this. And I think it's important to show this. Use the circle, ellipses and arcs setting and this should come lit up at the top. Now for this one, we want uh, the switch to arc unclosed shape. So just click on there. Draw an arc of any, any size. Then go to the select, flip it, and it'll turn it over. Now the size you want is 19 by 8.6. Go to the width, change it to 19. Go to the height 8.6 and there you have the arc that you require. Press the select. With the grid turned off so you've got a clear screen, turn on the snapping tool to enable snapping. Then press select and pick the line draw. And we're going to find the centre of the building where the window needs to sit and if we just hover above the centre of that drawing you can see it shows us where the center is. So if we then draw a line down, double click and off, draw a second line on this peak point here. So the next thing we need to do is to place this archway on top of there. The way to do that to make it accurate is to zoom in so that we can see it a little bit more closely. And then place that directly on top and as you can see the center line because you've got the snapping tool on tells you it's in the center now what we have to do is surround it press object and group we can now move this into the main building so if we zoom out this time, we can then pick this up and place it in there. And as you can see, the snapping tool has put it into exactly the correct place. I've cleaned the drawing up now by taking the measurements off screen. We now have to place these two windows in the correct place. The first thing I want to do is to draw a line. And I'm going to draw the line from here straight across where the window should be. If it doesn't quite hit, just move the line to its level on the bottom of the window. We can now place these within those spaces. Now the next thing to do is the measurement that we need from this side here to the side of the window is 19.5 millimeters. Now the easiest way to do that is to draw a box and make it 19.5 millimeters wide. It's the distance that that window has to be from this wall. So if we place that in there we can now place the window in place. Do the same on the other side, pull this off, take it to the other side and the snapping tool will make sure that they all snap together. The snapping tool again, is this in the top right hand corner and enable snapping. Once that's done, then take the box away and delete. 
Then we can take the lines out and delete. And they are now perfectly set within that part of the building. The building itself needs two of these. Now it's easy to make another one. If we just move the school drawing out the way and we surround the drawing and you'll see all the component parts, just go object group and it will make it into one subject. If we now right click inside and say duplicate and then click and drag, you now have two identical component parts for the building. Hope you've enjoyed this part of the video. We'll move on to the next video, which will be the actual window frames which go into these openings. Thank you for watching.